Southampton against Crystal Palace, which is the uh, one of the 3 p.m. kickoffs uh, tomorrow. Um, you spoke to Ruben Sayas this afternoon, James. High on the agenda, the future of a key defender. What's up with Mohamed Salasu? Yeah, he last played for Southampton on March the 18th, the draw with Tottenham. He then went away on international duty with Ghana. When he came back, he was said to have an unspecified injury and he hasn't featured since. Now, reports this week have claimed he's not injured. He's actually been frozen out of the squad because of question marks over his attitude, his commitment to the club. Now, Salisu has a year to run on his contract from this summer. Southampton have been trying to tie him down for longer for some time now so they don't lose him uh, on the cheap this summer or for free next summer. And the claim was that Salisu wants to see where Southampton are before committing. Well, his boss says that those reports are not true and his central defender is injured. He went with the national team. He had some problems in the past. Also, he missed uh, some of uh, the games for us, uh, for example, against Chelsea. Then when he went to the national team, he felt it again. And then when he came back, uh, we needed to put him into the injury process. And then he was expected to play today also for the big team to try to get this, uh, the problem uh, a little bit uh, solved if it was good. But he didn't feel great, so it's not available now. Ah, he's an injury player. We cannot have an issue with the attitude uh, if he's injured. So we talk about the players that are available. Salis, unfortunately, is not available for us. So. Uh, the issues for the attitude will be for the players that are with us working and trying to go before tomorrow game. Well, as we mentioned, James, time is starting to run out for Southampton. Four points adrift for safety. Just eight games remain for them. Was CS confident he can keep them up? Well, he's saying the right things. Of course, he has to, but time is really running out and he concedes this is a must-win game. Of those eight remaining matches, they still need to play Arsenal, Newcastle, Brighton and Liverpool. And only three of the games are against opposition in the bottom half of the table, with Crystal Palace being one of them. He called for more from the home fans. This is a home game for Southampton. That could work in their favour. Uh, but he also knows he needs more from his players too. They're not taking their opportunities. He says it's something they've been working on. Uh, but the lack of uh, finishing is a problem for Southampton. It has been all season. And it's being made worse by the fact that forward Shea Adams is out. He will remain out this weekend with a calf problem and might not be back until the end of the month. You feel like this is win or bust for Saints this weekend. James, thank you very much indeed.